Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and on my channel it's always about 3D printing, laser engraving, that kind of things. And uh, well, you see me shaking a bottle of resin and this is because I'm going to resin print. Now, this is something you never saw me do on my channel, but in fact I do have this Elegoo Mars printer, uh, well, since the day it came out. And the thing is that when you are allergic to resin, it can be pretty dangerous. Now, the printing itself, it's, it's pretty safe. You don't have to be afraid of it. But the cleaning process can be a little bit dangerous because then you're going to touch all the things and you're going to touch all the parts and <coughs> it's not really good for your health. But now something changed because I was contacted by Banggood and they asked me basically if there was anything that I would like to review. And uh, one of the, the people I was talking with uh, said, for example, the Elegoo uh, Mercury Plus, uh, which is a cleaning station for resin prints. And I said, well, that's something that I can really use. Because this is the cleaning station and curing station, because it's both, for this printer. So here you can see them both. This is the curing station which is new, and this is the Elegoo Mars. And I'm now going to start my print on the Elegoo Mars, which is this print. Well, let's do it. Now, with the curing station, there also came a few goodies, uh, which is, well, first show you this. This is a special uh, container in which you can pour alcohol or water, depending on what kind of uh, solution you are using to make your prints, uh, the, the, the kind of resin that you are using, if it's water washable or alcohol washable. Uh, and then it also has this strange bottom. And this bottom, uh, well, it's a magnet and it stirs the fluid that's inside the container when you are using it. Now, in that container, you can pour this basket. And, well, this basket that uh, makes sure that your parts don't fall on the steering motor. So uh, with this basket, you basically make sure that, uh, yeah, that everything is done nicely and good. But, especially for the Elegoo Mars printer, there is a better way of working, and that is with this holder. This holder uh, can fit the complete tray of the Elegoo Mars, and therefore you can use it to, when you uh, disconnect the tray from the printer, to completely put the tray in the washing and curing station and wash it like that. So you basically don't have to touch anything. You just take off the tray, bring it to the curing station and, and yeah, start the washing process while it's still on, uh, on the plate. Now, of course, this is a very, very nice feature. And after everything is clean and it is safe to touch or pretty safe to touch, especially with gloves, of course, uh, then you can start yeah, uh, peeling off the print from the plate. And after you've done that, then there is this table, which you can also put in the curing station because it's a washing and curing station. You can put your print on this table and it will start spinning around and all the LEDs will start burning and it will cure your print. So one machine does all. And well, this is a concept which I really love. Now, while we are waiting for the print to, to succeed, uh, we can already start taking a look at the curing station and I will place this in front of it. Um, because when I turn it on, well, then everything here turns on. And uh, here are the LEDs. In the bottom here, there is this rotating disc. And uh, well, this disc can be used to steer this basket. Now, one word of safety. When you are filling this bucket up with alcohol, I use isopropyl alcohol for this, um, make sure that you really, really uh, are careful with it because uh, the evaporated alcohol can already catch fire and uh, as 
in this room I also have 3D printers and laser engravers that are working. I'm not working with those at the same time that I'm working with alcohol. Uh, in fact, I'm going to uh, store the alcohol with the lid completely closed on this um, yeah, bucket. And uh, then I'm going to remove it from this room after I'm done. And uh, there I'm going to store it. I'm not going to store it in the same room where I have machines that, yeah, that can catch fire. I have to be honest about it. It can happen. And then you want to be able to, yeah, to shut down the fire as fast as possible and don't have things like alcohol going around. So at this moment, the print is finished in the Elegoo Mars. So I'm going to take away its tablet. And there I can see the print. And now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going put, to put on the gloves. Because of course I don't want any trouble at all by hitting the resin. So I'm not going to touch the resin. And uh, well, yeah, you can see it. I've selected the correct camera. Take off this pad. Bring it over here. So it's now mounted and oh, it's under the alcohol. I'm going to drop it just a tad lower, something like this. So, so as you can see now, uh, this bed is submerged in alcohol. I'm going to turn on this machine. I also have to put this lid on because without the lid, the machine won't work. And I'm going to the cleaning mode. There is a cleaning and a lighting mode. So now I'm in the cleaning mode. I'm going to give it four minutes of cleaning time. And I press the start button and see what happens now. So currently this is what's happening. So the, the alcohol is being moved around in that container. And also here on the bottom you can see that it still has 2 minutes and 44 seconds to go. Uh, with cleaning of this, uh, yeah, th this, this print. At two minutes, the motion will be reversed. So it will turn around the other way around. And that should happen about now. Which is true. Yeah. So now it brings the motion the other way around. And this is the way that the part is completely cleaned. So here you can see both the clock and the part while cleaning. So as you can see, I can now take it off just like this. And I've got my cleaned part over here on the bed. And after I took all the drips off the bed, I'm going to bring it over here because this is where I've got my paper. Now I want to Remove this from the bed and it looks like indeed it's cleaned very nice. Now with that out of the way, I'm installing this rotat rotational bed on the machine. And I'm going to select another mode. This is the curing mode. Set my time to 4 minutes and start. So now here you can see my part curing. And uh, if you take a close look at the lights in the back, then you see that the lights on the left side do have a slightly different color than the lights on the right side. And this is because uh, the light color, the curing color, is uh, different from the left and the right side. On the one side of the, the lamp, 
the LEDs do have a uh, yeah, a bandwidth of 385 uh, nanometers, which is the bandwidth uh, which is lower than the normal bandwidth for curing a resin. Now, the normal curing bandwidth, that is the lights on the right side, and they are 405 nanometers. So, there is a difference in those lights. And at this moment, we are now at uh, 1 minute 20 left. I'm going to rotate the part because I also want it cured from the other side around. Start the curing process also laying in an other orientation like this. So this is that part and uh, well I think it's beautiful. Now what do I think of the Mercury Plus curing station? Well I think it's a very nice product that gets the, the trash or the, the difficulties and the mesh that you normally have with, uh, uh, with, with, with printing with resin printers, it takes it away. I think if you have uh, an, an, a printer that can print with resin, you should have something like this. Uh, don't, yeah, don't be wasting your time with washing in alcohol and then cleaning and then uh, laying it in the sun to dry or making a bucket with, with strings of LED lights in it so that you can cure in that bucket. Don't do that anymore. Just go for something like the Mercury Plus because it really takes the mess out of your, your work. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time in a next video of course. See you later. Bye bye.